In the spring, you're talking a little bit about whether you're not going to be a nickelback anymore. You might be a linebacker more often or a safety more often. Has that transition been completed? Are we still going to see you a lot as just a nickelback? Uh, as of right now, I'm a, a lot of the nickelback position here. He works me sometimes in a safety. And I mean, pretty much the nickelback is the separate position that's just like outside linebacker. And I mean, a lot of teams nowadays run uh, three wideouts. So a let pretty much nickel turns into an outside linebacker now. But that's where we're at so far. What's this group looking at, especially with Louisville coming up in the first season with Teddy Bridgewater? Uh, you know, we got a lot of our secondary back. Uh, we lost Gerald last year at safety, but you know, we got Travis back and Jamil back, both from injuries last year that were season ending. And so our secondary should be pretty strong this year. We got a lot of good man to man coverage guys and, you know, a lot of experience that comes back. So that helps a lot when you're going against a big opponent like Louisville. Any major changes in the defense this year? Uh, no, you know, we just got to improve on the little things, get better at what we do, and pretty much play the defense that our coaches run and get better at it every, every practice here. What can we expect from the defense? I know a lot of injuries last year guys, prevented you from being as good as you possibly can be. Uh, is, is there anything that we can expect big things from you this year? Yeah, I mean, uh, last year we ended the year at game seven through on. We had a lot of injuries that were seen in the injuries to the D-line and stuff, and we got a lot of young guys on the D-line. And so we have a lot of JUCO guys that came in, a lot of freshmen that came in, and guys that are stepping up and making plays on the D-line. So pretty much we're going to look forward to the D-line to be able to see what they can do in the scrimmages here. And then, of course, on Louisville and pretty much the rest of the guys that have had experience playing, we got to look forward to them to keep making plays. Travis said that the biggest thing they brought back from Boise when they watched practice out there was communication. Is that something that's going to be huge for that young defensive line? Yeah, exactly. You know, the biggest part of the defense is communication because we don't know what the offense is going to do. So we got to communicate and we got to know our rules and know where we're supposed to be in our alignments and everything. So that's pretty much the fundamentals of defense and communication. You can't get anything done without communication. Finish no regrets is the motto this year. Talk a little bit about that. What does that mean to, to the team? Yeah, I mean, my uh, my retro freshman year, we made it to the MAC championship, obviously, and we had a heartbreaking loss there. And then and this past year, we were picked to win the MAC East again, and unfortunately, we were going strong throughout the year, and then we fell off there towards the end with injuries, like you said earlier. But uh, this year, you know, we got a lot of experience coming back. This will probably be our most experienced year. We got a couple young D linemen, but pretty much at every other position, we got a lot of veteran guys. So this year, we're looking forward to those guys stepping up and playing bigger roles and making bigger plays. And lastly, what are your goals personally and, and goals for the team? Uh, you know, the team always comes first. So you know, I would like to make the win the MAC East again and make it to the MAC championship and get a victory there. And of course, always uh, go to a bowl game and make a, and win the bowl game. And uh, individually, you know, if you make those team goals and you win games, those individualistic goals will come at the end. So. Not, not really specific on that.